Our last story is about a space mission. And it's not just another mission. It's a mission that has made history. Today, a private crew took part in a spacewalk some 700 kilometers from planet Earth. They were not astronauts. They were, in fact, a billionaire, his childhood best friend, and two engineers. And this was the first private spacewalk ever. The mission was funded by fintech billionaire Jared Isaacman. It used SpaceX rockets and equipment, and it has opened a new avenue for private space travel. But can anyone just buy a ticket to space? And why are governments allowing this? Our next report tells you. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. With those words, Jared Isaacman made history. It was a risky venture, but the billionaire pulled it off. He and his private crew stepped out of their spacecraft, did a spacewalk and returned back to safety nearly 700 kilometers away from planet Earth. This makes them the first civilians to conduct a spacewalk. The mission is called Polaris Dawn. Two days ago, Jared Isaacman took off in a SpaceX rocket. He's a fintech billionaire with a net worth of around $1.9 billion. He's also bankrolling this mission. So he's on board as commander. Joining him are three people. His close friend Scott Poteet and SpaceX engineers Anna Menon and Sarah Gillis. The goal was a private spacewalk above the planet. But there's a catch. No human has been this far since NASA's Apollo program in the 1970s. Also, these are amateur astronauts. They had no prior training or any such experience. So them pulling this off is a miracle. Only two of them conducted the spacewalk. They didn't float away or use jetpacks to fly away untethered. They just spent a few minutes each out in open space. But that doesn't make this any less iconic. In fact, it's a new horizon for private space travel. Space was once the frontier of nations. Now it's becoming more and more commercial. It started in the 2000s when a group of rich individuals spent a fortnight at the International Space Station. But that era of space tourism ended by 2009. And now there's a revival once again. More and more private companies are chasing the cosmos. And one major player is Elon Musk's SpaceX. It was founded in 2002. Initially, the company was dismissed by traditionalists. But right now, it's a powerhouse. SpaceX launches more rockets than any other competitor. And most of those missions are a success. Elon Musk says his dream is to make humans a multi-planet species. Which brings us to private space travel. This seems to be the year for it. Earlier this summer, two billionaires went to space, Jeff Bezos and Sir Richard Branson. They both had their private vehicles. And now there's the Polaris Dawn. And later this year, there will be more visits to the ISS. So a lot of missions are coming up. And there's a reason for it. You see, space travel is exorbitantly expensive. So for governments, this solves a problem. Individuals are funding their own space travel. They are pushing the boundaries of space exploration. And nations don't have to spend a dime on it. But it still doesn't mean anyone can just buy a ticket and get on a rocket. Space travel is more accessible, yes, but don't be mistaken. It's still very much a billionaire's playground. That said, this space mission is historic. It was a short walk for Jared Isaacman in space, but for private space travel, it's a big leap.